living the traditional Japanese lifestyle house tour. For those seeking to embrace the traditional Japanese way of living, the home is a crucial element that reflects the principles of simplicity, harmony with nature, and reverence for ritual. Let us embark on a journey through a meticulously crafted abode that epitomizes the essence of Japanese living. Introduction Traditional Japanese houses, with their distinctive layouts, embody a blend of simplicity, functionality, and harmony with nature. These homes, often referred to as minka or machia, are designed to optimize space, promote airflow, and create a serene living environment. Understanding the layout of traditional Japanese houses provides insight into the cultural values and lifestyle of Japan where every element of the home is thoughtfully arranged to enhance daily living. Key elements of traditional Japanese house layouts. Washitsu, Japanese style room. A washitsu, or Japanese style room, is a fundamental feature of traditional Japanese homes, embodying the minimalist and versatile design principles that define Japanese architecture. These rooms are typically characterized by their tatami mat flooring, which provides a soft, natural surface for sitting and sleeping. The walls are often lined with sliding shoji screens, made of wooden frames and translucent paper which allow natural light to diffuse gently into the space while maintaining privacy. This creates an airy, serene environment that is both functional and aesthetically pleasing. The simplicity of the washitsu's design encourages a clutter-free living space, fostering a sense of calm and tranquility. Washitsu rooms are incredibly versatile, serving multiple functions throughout the day. During the day, the room might be used as a living or dining area with a low shibudai table for meals and socializing.
At night, the space can be transformed into a bedroom by laying out futon bedding on the tatami mats. This flexibility is a practical solution in Japanese homes, where space is often limited. Additionally, the washitsu often includes a tokonoma alcove, where art or flower arrangements are displayed, reflecting the homeowner's appreciation for beauty and culture. This multifunctional approach not only maximizes the use of space, but also aligns with the Japanese philosophy of living harmoniously with one's environment. Genkan, entrance space. Genkan is the traditional Japanese entryway, serving as both a practical and symbolic threshold between the exterior world and the interior sanctuary of the home. Upon entering a Japanese house, guests first encounter the Genkan a slightly sunken area where they remove their shoes before stepping onto the elevated floor of the house proper. This practice not only helps to maintain cleanliness inside the home, but also embodies a cultural emphasis on separating the outer, public world from the private, inner sanctum. The Genkan typically features a shikadai step where individuals can sit to remove or put on their shoes and to get a bako, a wooden cabinet or shelf designed to store footwear neatly. The design and arrangement of the Genkan reflect the Japanese values of order, respect, and hospitality. It is often the first impression guests receive of the home, and as such, it is kept meticulously tidy and welcoming. A well-organized Genkan signifies the homeowner's attention to detail and care for their living space. In some homes, decorative elements such as potted plants or a small piece of art may be placed in the Genkan to enhance its aesthetic appeal. This entry space also serves a social function, providing a place where hosts can greet visitors and engage in brief conversations before inviting them further inside. By emphasizing cleanliness and thoughtful design, the Genkin exemplifies the harmonious blend of utility and beauty that characterizes traditional Japanese homes. Tokonoma Alcove Tokonoma is a small, 
raised alcove found in the main room of a traditional Japanese house. It is used to display art, calligraphy, or flower arrangements, reflecting the homeowner's appreciation for culture and beauty. The tokonoma serves as a focal point in the room, providing a place for quiet reflection and enhancing the aesthetic appeal of the interior. The engawa, a traditional Japanese veranda, serves as a transitional space between the interior of the house and the surrounding natural environment. Typically made of wood, the engawa runs along the edge of the house, offering a covered outdoor walkway that is often slightly elevated above the ground. This architectural feature allows residents to enjoy the beauty of their gardens and outdoor scenery from the comfort of their home. The Engawa is designed to be flexible and functional, providing a space for relaxation, socializing, and contemplation. It can be used as an informal sitting area where family members and guests can gather to appreciate the changing seasons and the calming effects of nature. Engawa Veranda. The Engawa is more than just a physical structure. It represents the Japanese philosophy of integrating the built environment with the natural world. Sliding doors and screens adjacent to the Engawa can be opened or closed to control the flow of air and light into the house, creating a seamless connection between indoor and outdoor spaces. This design not only enhances ventilation and lighting, but also fosters a sense of openness and harmony. The Engawa's position and materials also help regulate the indoor climate, providing shade in the summer and warmth in the winter. By blurring the lines between the home and its natural surroundings, the Engawa encourages a lifestyle that is in tune with nature, reflecting the broader cultural appreciation for simplicity, tranquility, and balance. Ofuro Japanese Bath. The Ofuro, or traditional Japanese bath, is a deeply ingrained aspect of Japanese culture, known for its emphasis on relaxation and ritual. Unlike Western-style baths, the Ofuro is designed solely for soaking with a deep, steep-sided tub that allows the water to cover the bather's shoulders while sitting. Typically made of wood, such as hinoki, cypress, the tub exudes a natural, aromatic scent that enhances the soothing experience. Before entering the ofuro, it is customary to wash and rinse thoroughly outside the tub, 
ensuring that the soaking water remains clean and pure. This ritualistic cleansing underscores the Japanese value of purity and the meditative, almost spiritual nature of the bathing experience. The design and use of the ofuro reflect the broader Japanese philosophy of mindfulness and the importance of daily rituals in fostering well-being. Bathing in an ofuro is not just about hygiene. It is a time for quiet reflection and relaxation, providing a respite from the stresses of daily life. The warm, enveloping water promotes relaxation of the muscles and mind, contributing to a profound sense of tranquility. Often, the ofuro is situated near a window or in a part of the home that offers views of a garden, further enhancing the connection to nature. This integration of natural elements and the focus on serene contemplation illustrate the holistic approach to health and wellness that is central to Japanese living, where the ofuro serves as a sanctuary for both body and spirit. Room layout and flow Traditional Japanese houses are designed to facilitate natural airflow and light. Sliding doors and screens allow for easy ventilation and the flexible division of spaces. Rooms are often arranged around a central courtyard or garden, creating a seamless flow between indoor and outdoor areas. This layout not only enhances the aesthetic appeal of the home, but also promotes a sense of tranquility and connection with nature. Integration with nature. Nature plays a crucial role in the layout of traditional Japanese houses. Gardens, whether small courtyards or larger landscapes, are integrated into the design to create a peaceful and harmonious environment. Natural materials such as wood, bamboo, and paper are used extensively throughout the home further emphasizing the connection to nature. Large windows and sliding doors open up to garden views, allowing natural light to flood the interior and creating a serene living space.
Conclusion The architecture and design of traditional Japanese houses offer a fascinating glimpse into Japan's cultural values and way of life. Every element from the tatama-floored washitsu and the versatile shoji screens to the welcoming genkan and the tranquil afuro is thoughtfully designed to enhance both functionality and aesthetic beauty. These features not only maximize the use of space and promote a harmonious living environment, but also reflect a deep-seated respect for nature and an appreciation for simplicity and mindfulness. The careful integration of indoor and outdoor spaces, exemplified by the Engawa and the presence of lush gardens, underscores the Japanese belief in living in harmony with the natural world. Understanding the layout and features of traditional Japanese houses provides more than just architectural insight. It offers a window into the Japanese way of life, where balance, cleanliness, and a connection to nature are paramount. These homes are not merely places to live, but are sanctuaries that foster well-being, mindfulness, and a sense of peace. By embracing the principles found in traditional Japanese architecture, we can learn to create living spaces that are not only functional and beautiful, but also deeply enriching to our lives. The enduring appeal of these homes lies in their ability to harmonize modern living with timeless values, making them a source of inspiration for people around the world. Living the traditional Japanese lifestyle is a multifaceted experience that permeates every aspect of daily life. From the way one enters the home to the rituals and practices that take place within its walls. This house tour offers a glimpse into a way of living that harmonizes with nature, embraces simplicity, and fosters a deep appreciation for the beauty in the ordinary. <laughs>